Hi there. Thanks for joining me for aerobic exercise today. Come along now. So as it's aerobics, we want to move constantly. The moving of the feet, walking in place, marching in place, jogging, running, all's meant to get your body moving, your blood flowing. As we do some of our exercises later on, you always have the option of stopping the feet. When you stop the feet, sometimes it's easier to move the other parts of your body. Let's take a side stretch. Now you're welcome to pedal the feet as you go. You're also welcome to keep the feet still. Let's try a couple more. And then posture upright. Arms to the side, and then the other side. Again, you can always stop the feet and focus more on the arm movement if that's what you feel you need, marching otherwise. And then we have to deal with tempo. How fast do we move the feet? How fast do we move the arms? Really, that's up to you. You can always follow me. You can always move slower or faster. Please remember that. I hope you came prepared with water today. I've got mine within reaching distance perhaps step and sliding distance as the case may be. Let's do that now. Arms down, and then we'll swing from side to side as we step and slide. Good. A handful more, side to side. Come back to your mark and march in place. Walk in place. Feel free to pump the arms more vigorously. Notice your breath. Breathe fully, please. Of inhaling and exhaling completely. All the while, for the next 40 minutes or so, we want to tone the tummy in. Keeping the tummy engaged, transverse abdominals, hollow the tummy, make your ribs stick up taller too. Proper posture involves your tummy muscles. Now, the upper back works to pin the shoulders back a little bit. And so we're together working our tummy strength, working that upper back postural strength as we march, as we breathe. And as we smile, please, let's move the shoulders up and down. Again, you can always stop the feet and focus on the shoulders. Of course, aerobic exercise, the more parts you can get moving, the more blood flows, and the more fully you'll want to breathe. Inhaling and exhaling completely. I'll oftentimes count how many times I can lift my shoulder on a single exhale, count how many I can do on an inhalation. <sighs> Keep your shoulders down. Good. Tick tock your skull from side to side. Careful. You can always stop the feet, focusing on the head as you need. Level the head, good. Lift the chin and lower. Up and down, a couple more times. A level chin to then turn it from side to side. Gentle warm ups, warming up the neck muscles here. Have the joints therein. Base forward. Good. 
try a couple head circles. Small. You can always stop the feet if you need. Other way. It comes to still. Shrug your shoulders up and try a couple more head circles while your shoulders are up here. Almost scraping the skull against the lifted shoulders. Two the other way. Find a neutral skull. Press the shoulders down. Two more up. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, lift the shoulders. More breath in. Exhale, shoulders down. And move the shoulders back. Shoulders forth. Back and forth with your shoulders. Kind of walking in place. You could even jog in place. Not to mention, you could do this while shopping at the supermarket. Walking down the aisles as such. Shoulders back and forth. Roll your shoulders now. And that's a good one too. A good one to take outside with you. Other way. Rolling the shoulders forward. Back again. And keep your shoulders nice and snug down your back. Good. Let's try our abdominal crunch. So tummy's already pulling in a little bit. Makes the waist a little more narrow. Transverse abdominal muscles. Wearing a corset. Now we want to crunch the rector abdominus muscles down and up with the rib cage, crunching towards the pelvis. Inhale, recover. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, recover. And exhale, crunch. Good. The other end of that is to use the abdominals to curl the tail. Inhale, recover. You'll notice I stopped marching. This is a hard one to do while marching. Tailbone curls under. Inhale, recover. Exhale, crunch. Try the two together. Ribs crunch down, pelvis crunches up. Tailbone towards chin, chin towards tail. Inhale, recover. Exhale, crunch, curling the tail. Inhale, recover. A few more. Crunch, squeezing the abdomen. Inhale, recover. Crunch. And recover. One more, please. Crunch down, nice and tight. Rest, arms, and torso. Neutral, marching in place at a comfortable pace. Good. Ribs. Now, welcome to stop the feet. Ribs move side to side. If you can manage that while marching, please do. A little weight shift from foot to foot. That's all the march is. And you could try to go faster or slower. This is your exercise, your time to shine. Good. Now, feels similar to the shoulders. Neutral, ribs back, ribs forward. Ribs back, ribs forward. Good. Couple more back and forth. Try to make a little circle with the rib cage. Again, you can always stop the feet. Circle the ribs the other way. A couple more times. Good. Neutral torso, at least for now. Side crunches. One side crunches, the other side stretches. Yeah, and so we go. Nice movements there. A 
come to still, marching in place. The hips now, it's complicated, side to side. You can always keep the feet still. If you're comfortable though, march as your hips sway. Pump the arms as you like. Swing the arms side to side. Nice work. Hips back, and then the hard part, hips forward. Hips back, hips forward. Tail back, tail under. Back and forth with the pelvis. Stop the feet if you need to. Watching this one in place, it's hard. Coordination, balance and control. Circle the hips. Little hip circles. You can always stop the feet if you need. Other way. Good. Let the hips come to rest. Circle your wrists for me. Circle your wrist the other way. Try jogging in place. A little faster through the feet, that's all. Now wrists come to still. Elbow joint circles. Circle your forearms. The other way. Good. Do that out to the side and bounce your heels like you're jumping rope. From the elbow circle. Go the other way with the arm circle, good. Still bouncing the heels, can you feel it in your calves yet? Getting warm, getting toned. March in place. Now, whole arm circles from the shoulder socket. Arms straight ahead. Other way. Excellent, out to the side. Other way. Whole arm circles. Moving the arm in the shoulder joint. Arms down. Arms long. Circle the arms down here. Other way. Last one. Arms overhead. If you're balancing trays, circle the arms. In the shoulder joint, good. Other way. Rest your arms down. Woo! And check in on them. How do you feel? Good, I hope. Toe tap. The toes stay down, the rest of your foot comes up. You want to feel stretch on the front of your foot, the front of your ankle. Get it there. Pushing through. Through the arch of your foot. Feel the muscles on the bottom of your foot working. Alright, try toes out to the side. Yeah, that's just the big toe that taps. It's a pointed foot. Again, hopefully stretching the front of your ankle a little bit. To the back, arms up. Good, heels tap them forward. Pump your arms by your side. your arms away from your heel to the side. And then lift 
lift your arms up the front to heel tap the back. You feel a little work in the back side of your pelvis, the muscles of your glutes, the back side working to send the leg back. Good. March it out. Little kicks with the front of the foot. We'll do flexed foot kicks later. Just tapping a soccer ball with the top of your foot. Tapping. Not a big kick here. Gentle. Carefully you don't whip out at the knee. If you feel any discomfort in your knee, move smaller. Good. The knee high. Well, it's an oldie but a goodie. There's balance there. Again, you don't need to lift high, just comfortably high. High knee marches. Of course, the higher you try to go, the more you're going to work. Always play with the height of your knee. But be comfy. Take it easy. Be nice to your body parts. Let's try knees to the side. Nice to pump the elbows up and down. Yeah. Good work. Let's take the knees front again. Push your palm, opposite palm, flatten down like it's a plunger. Push, push. Good. Let's try arms away from the high knee. Swing your arms to the side. March. Hands push forward. Foot pushes back. Careful, this is balance. Coordination. Smiles. While breathing. Keeping the tummy tone. The shoulders pinned back. There's a lot going on here. If you can manage it, squeeze into the chest muscles a little bit more as your arms extend forward. Get more squeeze in the chest, in the arms. And the same thing with that back leg. Squeeze through the back side of your leg. Feel the butt, the hamstring, working. steps back, press arms up as you walk forward, bring hands towards shoulders as you come back, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale, four steps forward, inhale, four steps back, exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe in. Good, now inhale, arms up, exhale, bow. Inhale, forward and up, exhale, back and bow. Inhale up, exhale, bow. Still with the four steps, more or less. Who's counting? You are, of course. 
rest, march in place. Hats on the back, good work. Let's take hands towards the back, fingers to the shoulders, and start with elbows circling back and up, forward and down. Back and up, forward and down. Good, now as the elbows come over the top, extend the arms. The hands have to come back to the shoulders before the elbows start circling back again. A couple more. Change direction, the hands come to shoulders, elbows circle up. As they find the up, the arms extend and come back. Breathe. <sighs> Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Now, just the elbows. No arm extension. Elbows forward and up. Side, back, and down. As if you make as big a motion as you can with the shoulders. Rest your arms. Good work. Very good. Open the wide stance. Jog a little faster. Walk your feet in. March in place. A little slower. Wide stance. Open. Jog a little faster with the feet. Legs together. Slow it down just a hint. Again, open. Good job. Feet together. And march. Good. Three steps, heel tap. One, two, three, heel tap. Counting three steps between the heel taps. Try it to the side. Try it to the back. One, two, three, heel back. Make a little extra space. Slide. Double slide. Loop to loop the arms, the hands. So forearms move in the elbow joint. Having fun yet? Oh, of course we are. Back to the single. Hold the legs wide. Good. Send your seat back and notice your shoulders come forward. Send your seat back as you exhale. Inhale as you come up. Exhale back, inhale, arms move with us. Exhale, arms back, seat back. Inhale, rise and recover. Exhale, arms back, seat back. <sighs> Breathe in, couple more. Sending the seat back like this helps protect the knee joints. That's it. Bring your feet together. Good work. Elbow towards knee. Little twist. Very good. Couple more like this. And then we open the feet a little wider. Careful. Wider stance. Elbow towards the knee. It doesn't have to touch. We might try the hand to knee. 
we go. Doesn't have to touch. Bring the feet in, elbow towards knee. Elbow towards knee side, careful of the side stretch, careful of the side crunch. Ribs move, leg moves, arms follow the ribs. March. March yourself over to your walker. Take a sip or two, even a few. Careful not to chug them. Hopefully, never that thirsty. Remember, we want to drink before we feel those thirst sensations in the mouth. Find your mark when you're ready. And again, you can always stop the feet if you need to. Arms to the side. Pump, pump, four times. Four, four, fifth one, so squeeze. Other side, a squeeze. Pump, pump, two, three, four, fifth one, squeeze. Both sides. Pump, pump, pump. Squeeze. Squeeze. Pump. Squeeze. Flex the bicep. Other side. One more time. Squeeze the bicep. Rest. Good work. Tummy toe. Shoulders back. Side slide. As you pass through the middle, just a little hiccup there. Bend the knees. Just a little bit. You might expect for the seat to go back a little bit rather than staying perfectly plumb. Yeah, allow for the seat to shift back and forth. Good. Now take the knee bend away, keep it up here, and squeeze elbows back. As your legs come together, you squeeze between the shoulder blades and draw your shoulders back. Whole arms pull back. Nice to hold and squeeze, but this is aerobics, so the more of them you can do, the better. And ideally, every time you go back, you're squeezing. Ha! Ha! Squeeze! Squeeze! You find your breath easy. You can exhale every squeeze, or you might see how many you can do on an inhale. And how many you can do on an exhale. So many different ways to breathe. Close the arms front. Good. Arms higher. Close the arms by your side. Take as much time as you need to complete these. Squeeze under the arms. And then as you're comfortable, you might move faster. Be nice. And march. March in place. Quick body scan. Check in on the arms, the legs the torso. How do you feel? Front and back. All over. Good? Still together we hope. 
March turns into a job. Turns into a running place. Sprint in place. Run in place a little slower than the sprint. Jog in place a little slower than the run. Walk or march in place a little slower than the jog. Up to the jog. Up to the run. And sprint. Run. Jog. March. Hopefully able to feel those changes in speed. One more time, up and down. Jog. Run. Sprint. Run. Jog. March. Pats on the back again. Good work. Hey, hands towards shoulders. Elbows up, but elbows towards each other as they go up. If the elbows start to separate, the elbows are high enough. Only lift the elbows higher if you can keep them towards your head. Arm extensions. Ten. Nine. Eight. Keep your elbows in. A few more. Wave your hands. Out to the side. Down. And palms back. Open a wide stance. Bend the knees a little bit, less than before. Try to keep your posture plumb. From two feet to one. Bend onto two feet. Push up to one. Weight more or less on top of just the one leg. Your whole head on top of the leg. Spine on top of leg. Leg on top of foot, down and up, down and up. Good. Just a few more. Two more. Each side, once more. Good, now tilt your spine in order to lift the leg. Notice the knees don't bend. There's no real spring here. You're just swinging the torso from one side to the other, using the weight of your head and shoulders to lift that foot for you. And this is counterbalance. If you feel daring, you might try to freeze. Freeze. Of course, side to side is good. But being able to hold it, one side or the other, one side then the other, also a good skill to develop. But this is aerobics, so we want to move, and the more of us we can get moving, arms and all, the better. March in place. And you'll keep the march going. Start to swing the hips side to side again. Pump both arms up and down. As the hips sway, arms simply move up and down, the elbow bending and extending. Bring your elbows in line with the shoulders this way, out and in. Bending and extending, swinging hips. Arms up. Good coordination, scarecrow arms. Feeling good. Let's come to still. 
Let your hips rest. Good work. A wider stance. Twist. Twist. Corkscrew the twist. Feet stay still. Corkscrewing means pull the ribs up and out of your waist. Get a longer torso as you twist. Good. Legs together, hands together, and we're going to twist away from a leg extension. Nice twisting. Ribs twist away from the pelvis, noticing the pelvis faces forward, more or less. March in place, arms to the T. If can, can, can. If no can, can, can. No can, can. Knee across, straight leg kick. The can, can kicks. A knee leads, and a straight leg follows. Flexed foot and all. Here you'll notice, I hope, that the pelvis is turning from side to side while the rib cage now faces forward. It's a twist below the belly button. No need to kick high. Please be nice to your leg. There's a hamstring stretch in there, even down through the calf and Achilles. You flex through that foot. Wide stance, touch down, tilt the ribs again. I want you to feel this in your abdominals. Good. Just a few more right and left. Well, straight down the middle like this. And then we'll take a few more, angling the heel off to the side, like so. Let's count our three more. Last one. March it out. Open the feet a little. Bend the knees straight back. So here, it's like you're trying to pull the foot up to the cheek. Careful. It's a quadricep stretch. It's a stretch for the knee. Be nice. Working the hamstrings. Balancing. Can you freeze? Don't stress it. Play. We want to smile. Breathe fully, but breathe easy. Show me the leg kicks straight ahead now. Last time we did this was the can-can. Here, legs go straight ahead. 
let's take a few steps between kicks. So the kicking leg steps back, then it steps forward for the other leg to kick. Two steps back, one step forward. Two steps back, one step forward. Wide stance. Roll your shoulders. Alternately. Bring your feet in and shake your hips. Circle your forearms. Circle your forearms the other way and move your hips back and forth. A couple more times. Back and forth. Back and forth. Hand stamps. Side stretch. Slow and control. Long through the torso. Tummy engages. Can you get longer on the bottom side? You can always march this one out if you'd like. Other side. As can be. Remember, you can march it out if that's your pleasure. Level the shoulders. Interlace the fingers behind you. You can always just hold a thumb as well. Arms reach down and back to stretch across your chest. You can walk in place or not. Breathe fully. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, release. Good. And arm across the chest. Pull right arm back with the left arm. You can stop the march or keep it going. I'm a broken record. I want you to move at a pace that's comfortable for you. Remember, make choices with your exercise. Other side. General rule of thumb, if something hurts, don't do it. Try to figure out something that is similar, but doesn't hurt. So here, if it hurts to pull the arm back, maybe don't pull it back so much. Maybe try a different height with the arm. There's always options. Let's stop our marching. Rest your arms. Left leg steps back and then Right foot pulls back for a hamstring stretch. Lean forward. Breathe fully as you stretch. <sighs> nice. Other leg in front. Hamstring stretch. Hinging at the hip flexors. Take your torso forward. Seat is back. Take the spine closer to the legs. You gotta keep the spine long though. Rounding the spine is not allowed. Spine long, ribs lower. Rise. Again, hands to hips in our last stretch today. Bend your left knee to sway that long right leg and hip out to the side. Feel a little stretch, encourage it. And then straighten the left knee to then straight, stretch the left side. Bend the right knee. Notice the torso wants to shift. If you encourage the torso to shift, you might feel more stretch. Rise, shake your hands, shake a leg. The other leg and your seat. Thank you. Good work today. Remember, breathe fully. Stretch often. Stay hydrated. Until next time, take care and aloha.